All right, I'm back. Let's do this uh, investigation reopen thingy. Now that we have uh, already done this. Wait, I loaded. Have I already done this? I guess maybe not. Hello, sweet secret. Yeah, this is for the tailor, of cool. course. Probably this area is one. Alright, we haven't even talked to the children yet, so we'll skip this because I've already done it. Yes, there are a couple of fights in this. Uh, I think they scale with you. <coughs> like, I didn't have Lelek before, but <coughs> I guess I um, would have done the suffering thing. I'm not sure. Alright, we have three. We'll start with you. Take your focus. Let's see, what else do we have? Lelek. Actually, maybe I should kill him. Hit little bits. Alright, that was the easy part, I guess. Now we'll do for damage. Alive a little bit. Okay. Alright, Bukavak.
Okay. Uh, we want to remove the negative states so we can heal. That ability is super strong, by the way, now. That's like insane. Alright, All right, let's go to the next fight, I guess. We have done better in that fight, but it's fine. I wonder if you do the additional things, not in this case, but in general. That gives you more um, uh, experience points or something. It gives you different choices in some quests, but I wonder if there is a gameplay mechanic too for it. Hey. So then I tell him I you're always up. What are we Again I'm skipping I'll let did this I couldn't do that before, I think. Hello. How can I speak to you? I can't stand this weather. Can I help you? What are you selling? My late husband's junk. I don't need to look at all of this if I can't look at him. I'm sorry for your loss. No point brooding over it. The river giveth, and the river taketh away. Oh, they're still under the influence of the Goodbye. Saltor. Aren't your legs getting sore? All right. I don't know why we have talked to Peer because I guess it's just some small lines about what has happened. Right, right. Don't get a lot of it out of it, so let's wait until So let's kill
Good evening. Good evening. What do you want? What well, did this do? Well, this is a. Okay, this might be something from the brothel. Which I missed before because I couldn't. Um, Actually, let me go to the brothel, if I can find it. Let's have went in before, I guess. Because I remember there was something, the piano or something. Maybe it doesn't matter, but... I don't know, it's enough to remember. Okay. Nothing really there. The gent looking to forget his worries. Oh. Who usually plays? Would that it were only one. One of the girls saw it. Your employees play too? I can find you someone that can... You will done this again. Who knows? This is just... Let's change. Thank you. I can't I don't think it matters for the quest. Whatever I'm missing for them, I'm missing something else somewhere. I don't think it was the piano. Or that it was connected to the fisherman. Okay. Good evening. Cloud behind the corner, five. Yeah, yeah. No. Well, f the oh. okay. We did everything for now that we have the deed. I think we can maybe have the investigation reopen. It would be nice if when you read something, it went away as an option. Because I don't know what I have read or not sometimes. I'm not sure what I was missing with the two ladies. Because you said you were missing something, but I did everything, so. Also, we didn't fight this time with um, Piotr, so. I don't know why that happened. What more do you want from me? I got the hook from the victim's body. Local kids had stolen it. I already have a few of these. Because of it, I know, let's call it, the scent of the murderer. A thaumaturge could be useful in a case like this. But the case is closed. That's enough. When I get sober, I put you in jail, I swear. Now leave me alone. We'll see about that. I'll find out why you're so reluctant to run this investigation, and then we'll resume it together. What? You're going to cast a spell on me, magician? Who knows? Don't go anywhere. I felt something. Very All right.
Mm, you can do that too. Am I a magician or what? There is that quest with the cutting ring. Okay, is it his superiors that uh, are the problem? Probably. Well, again, depending on the. Um, Salter you use, it's very nice that they put them in the actual game, it's not just uh, in a cutscene or uh, maybe they don't appear at all. It's, it's a very tiny detail, but I think it's really nice. Of all the joints in Povishla, you walk into this one again. You won't give up that easy. Deep down, you're not that kind of man. Tilting at windmills has dimmed your investigator's instinct, but you won't give them the satisfaction. I don't have the strength. I do. Let's bring this case to a close. Let's find the real fisherman. You're right. The dubber is innocent. I'm not going to fall in with a heartless system where all that matters is the quarterly performance. Come, I'll show you the body. It's still in the ice room, unless the pallbearer took it. I'll tell you the rest of the story there. Well, okay then. I won't do that. Viktor Shulski, Thaumaturge. Antonio Nigorevich Pilevin. Lead the way. I hope I don't regret it, Thaumaturge. The Ice House. Escort quests. You always run faster than them. But walk slower. Not that close then. All right. There he is. Tadeusz Pielecha, a Powiśle man, childless, 46 years old. He was a fisherman. It's very creepy. No, Tomatork. Zadzela. Last victim's body. There is a hit of living fingers imprinted on the dead skin. One has dragged the body towards the nightly ripple of the river. The trip was short, the effort passing, the satisfaction wild, the contempt boundless. There is familiar fisherman. Hmm. I wonder if they are dead or something and he just does this whole thing. He has multiple wounds and bruises. Yeah, he was tortured before he died. But the immediate cause of death was a strong hit to the back of the head. Stunned like a fish. It's a joke. I presume it's his trademark. Yes, 
He always puts pebbles in place of gouged out eyes. Ordinary river pebbles, probably collected at the local wharf. Pebble. The pebble with dried blood on it is surrounded by echoes of obsessive thoughts. Someone has solved it into the empty eye socket, wondering why they hesitated so long, if it was so satisfying. Memories filled with pain fluttered in the head like fat moths. Any personal items? Something could have been imprinted on them. His emotions, thoughts, anything. All he had was his wedding ring. But we gave it back to the widow because she was crying that she wanted to have a memento of her husband. We should ask her to show this wedding ring to us. Where can I find the widow? She lives in a house on the corner. Between the marketplace and the Aja's brothel. Pyroha wasn't the fisherman's first victim. What about the others? There was another fisher. A porter. A traveling saleswoman. But this is our best clue. Were other victims from around here as well? Some spent all their lives in Povishla. Others were passing through. And they were just unlucky. Then it's certain the fisherman lives in the area and knows it well. Which means he probably also keeps his victims somewhere around here. And then just drops them on the bank? Hmm. Did he have a family? We only know I about the wife. They didn't seem to get along. All right. The autopsy is over. When did Pileha's wife report he was missing? She admitted she was worried her husband had been gone for three days. She did take her time. Maybe she was the one who killed him. Why don't you talk to her? If you need me, I'll be at the moonshine. Doubtful. <laughs> Alright, we're still back to interrogating the prostitutes. I guess we'll do that and then do the other thing. of Piotrusius. What about Tadeusz Kielecha? Do you know anything about him? What a miserable chap. No one could ever cheer him up. It must be really hard for his wife now. A friend of a friend saw him in a moonshine often. A local joint. I know where it is. Anything else? Thank you for being willing to talk to me. Goodbye. Give my best to Piotrusz. Hey, what are you up to? Bothering the lady? Nothing comes for free. Okay, relax. I was only asking the lady a few questions. I'll take my leave. Over my dead body. Forget it. This is nothing, really. Just I let you chat. That can be arranged. I'm supposed to step in if any fisherman or others can't bother you. So I am. Unless you want to be left alone. And you? Come here. Losing a few teeth will teach you not to waste the hooker's time. This, I understand why they did this to break the monotony of the an adventure because it's more of an adventure than an RPG, I think. Again, it reminds me a lot of Vampira, as someone said um, on a YouTube video. But um, sometimes I feel like they put it, they put the fight there just to have a fight. Even if it doesn't really um, matter that much, if it doesn't even make sense. Bring me 
Lelek. Let's try to see. We haven't seen his strong attack. Cool. Alright, let's see you buka back. any damage so that's nice other guys did like 10 well he does damage on uh, I forgot about that actually <laughs> Yeah, I deserve that. I completely forgot uh, the focus that I have focus too, not only the other people. These side quests are so meaty. That is why I could talk to her. Do you have any valuables to sell? Like jewelry? What the jewelry? Look at me. I had Pieleha's ring, but I sold it to a pawn shop. Money don't stink, you know. They didn't want anything else anyway. And where is this pawn shop? At Brovarna Street. But it's probably closed at this time. Like that you said, the second memento. Suspicious here lately. Other than you, this is Povishle. Everyone's suspicious here. I have to go now. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. So I guess I need to go to a bench and sleep. Sleep. Pass the time. Let's wait until uh, noon, I guess. Well, let's kill some time. Sensing that we'll have another fight here. Was Patterson is tingling? What now? I'd like to see your jewelry. Gems, bangles, spangles, wedding rings, golden. Uh huh. Congratulations. Preferably from a stiff. I know you've got one here. What does a magician need a ring like that for? Where is this a proud answer? 
Sure, I'm we're getting told you. married. I'm getting married. I do have one, but it's not for sale. It brings me luck. I knew it would be a fight. Can I just take a look at it? No looking. I'll be back. No need. Can I do anything else here? Can you feel it? Yeah. I love mystery. Let's try to avoid the fight for once. That guy is really superstitious. What now? I didn't get a conclusion though. I really want. I said. I don't want to do that though. Hmm. Let's do the other part of the quest. See if we can uncover something. Like I expect to get a conclusion. And say, oh, maybe I'll break your mirror or something, you know, threaten him with superstition. The key says you two work together. Is that true? Sort of, I guess. That's right. At least he doesn't drink as much as you. You know it! I'm the only reason this investigation's going anywhere. If only they gave me some sort of badge for this. That sure would be something. How are things? Have you got anything new? Let's recap. Did you ask aunties like I told you? Don't interrupt. Pile has widow already sold her husband's ring to the pawn shop. I was about to tell you that. That's a good one. We're standing in front of the deceased's favorite joint, supposedly. I've heard they've got some decent beer in there. I bet you have. I'll be off now. Let me know if you find anything. Must be good to get that ring without actually... Maybe I'll tell him the, the ring is cursed. It got that guy killed. You're not from around here, I guess. Oh my god. Time for the random fight. Hello. Is this a bad time? It is a bad place, fancy boy. It is for the locals. Is it the weather that has this effect on you? One more word and we will take you out. I'm a friend of Piotr Kusta. Hey, do you hear the kind of names being tossed around here? You better find some friends your own age, <laughs> pervert. Get All right, I guess we'll get the fight. That's fine. Start with you. Uh, wrong person.
Buffing now. Maximum damage. Ooh, that's nice. What am I getting that from? I don't know. Wait, how did that guy get hurt? I hurt him at the start, I think. For the points, reduce inflicted damage by 50%, permanently increase focus by one. Very nice. I don't know how this works. Oh, it's a skill, uh, it might be here. Try it out. Okay. Well, let's try that again. This time we'll list tags. Anybody else got a problem with me? I thought so. Upgrade. It's a woman. Interesting. I thought because of the whole carrying them would be a man, but apparently not. It's very interesting. Just no browning, please. What can I get you? Brawl that side, so there is that. 
I know Tadeusz Pielecha liked to come here. Wouldn't you rather have a drink? I... I don't feel like talking about Tadek. Again, we're not a great person. <laughs> you miss him, so do the others. You've known him for ages. Although we are trying to help, still. His name tears a hole in your heart. Help me, and I will do him justice. Yeah, it's a damn shame. If he went back to his wife that night rather than here, I guess he'd be still alive. That means he spent his last night here. I wonder if it's a prostitute. Yeah, when he left, that was the last we ever saw him. It was pissing down that night too. And a few days later, he was lying sprawled out on the river bank like a dead fish. Did you talk to him? Tadek did more drinking than talking. He only complained that Yaja had him removed from the brothel. He didn't avail himself of it and he wouldn't pay for nothing. He's a prostitute. No, he was a man of few words. At least uh, good uh, possibility. I suppose we don't have many customers on rainy nights like that. Hmm? Can you remember who else was here? Just regulars. Same as today, some hookers come by at times. Today we've got one copper and one intrusive posh boy, which is unusual. I mean you. I got it, yes, thanks. Did Pielecha leave alone? Yenek, the steel worker, left with him, but he came back shortly after and passed out in the corner. Then a hooker went out, probably to work. Do you remember which one? Clara. She's the caring one. She jumps around with that little shit Yusta. Unexpected. I'll be off now. Good riddance. I wonder if that kid is in on it. Probably not, but... The boy's gone. Anything new? Where's Piotrek? He couldn't wait until you came. He had an idea on when... You guys did. The did something happen? I think I know who the fisherman is, but I need to be certain. I'll get back to you. All right, I guess we don't do that then. Again, I'm not sure what I missed. Because I didn't see anything else. I don't want to fight him, so me. Let's save it actually. Let's have it in your slots. Have you looked around? Any special requests? Tell me about this place. Yes. I've heard that Deus Pilecha came here the day before he died. You're not from around here, precious, are you? What are you snooping around for? Thaumaturgist habit. So has he been here or not? He seemed odd, and he didn't pay, and I value our time, so I had him kicked out. Do you remember which girl he spent his time with that day? Not at all. 
Can I take a look around the rooms where you receive customers? No, precious. Whoever enters the rooms must pay first. That's the rule. We have no money. What do we have no money though? Hmm. Problem is if I do that, my sister is gonna be really. This is where you spend your money. In a horror house. <laughs> Let's make a deal. You let me in. We did got some. Um, that. Will five rubles cover it? Something. Bonzer. Fine. In fact, the establishments of Shrudmieście aren't as expensive as my sister told me. Gone. Upstairs with you. Just don't scare my girls. Just go in. All right, cool. Mm. Can you feel it? It's the smell of mystery. The Urchin brought her her favorite beer, but she had a customer. To hell with it this time, she'll make an exception and send the zone off. Okay. Piotr stole something from here again, but can you blame him? The boy is like a brother. Unruly and careless, but he's the only reason she still smiles. But this stress is the fisherman's stress, Clara's stress. The boy hid under the temple just for giggles. He waited for her to come and when she came, he jumped out from under the temple so suddenly that he caught the attention of Auntie Jajia, it's not Jajia, but whatever. Uh, Hajia, downstairs. But the girl living here only laughed, a long and sincere laugh, a joyful memory. Clara's carefree and sincere affection for Piotrek beams from the items. I was almost touched. The boy doesn't realize that his auntie is the fisherman. I have to find her. Piotrek may be in danger. Guess we don't do the ring then. We don't need it. I'm not sure if it plays a role. Who knows? Like you fool. Uh -huh. Now we've got a conclusion for the ring. Okay. How did I miss that? What's now? You can feel evil energy creep out from every corner surrounding you. You're afraid you might be hexed. You don't realize you bring bad luck on yourself. How so? Don't you know dead people's things, especially personal items, attract restless souls? Can you hear the whispers? Is it the wind? It's strangely cold here. Take this cursed ring away from me. I don't want it. I'll happily rid you of this potential curse. All right. Horses in the sky, which is the name of the quest. Horses tramping in the sky, hoofs clattering. 
thought echoes in the mind like a mantra, was by pain and panic. Okay, the hand just shocked me. <laughs> On the mouse, what the fuck? Uh, it did into the gold ring like crimson rust as its owner drew his last breath. Uh, he died after leaving his favorite bar. His horses in the sky may relate to the last thing he heard before his death. Horse-drawn coaches and carriages going across the bridge. So the fisherman's torture chamber may be located under its massive arches in one of the barracks there. Okay. Hopefully the kid isn't dead. Or, um, you know, or spirit or which I don't think so. I wouldn't make much sense. The murderess bears a trauma from her past. Pain and anger impelled her to take revenge on men for the hurt caused by her brother, who wreaked of fists. They stripped her of moral inhibitions, and her disappointment with Warsaw and her life gave her a twisted excuse for killing. Okay. Damn, did you kill the child? Clara, what did you do to the boy? Piotrusz's older friend. I expected this to be only a matter of time. I warned you he would get hurt. Why is he lying still? What did you do to him? For now, he's only sleeping. The little angel, like the others. Don't be a hero, or the lad's done for. Something tells me the game will kill him if I do that. Let's not be rash. Let's talk. Indeed. Everything would have worked out if it wasn't for this pesky kid. Why are you even doing this? Why wouldn't I be doing this? Why wouldn't I slaughter those stinking sods? My only regret is that I didn't start sooner. Your brother. What is it that he's done to you? Brother? Daft prick is more like it. He raised me after our parents died. Raised me with a heavy hand. I hated him, but I also only had him. You killed him too? I dreamed about it every day. Until he finally died on his own in a stupid accident. Flittering idiot. He managed to take even that from me. The satisfaction of his death. It's not even about my brother this time. It's about this cursed city. You're not from here. Warsaw wasn't kind to you, was it? Kind? Warsaw devoured me. It chewed me up and shut me out. I came here with the hope of leaving everything behind me. I was a good girl. I wanted to find a job and start a new life. I didn't have any prospects. Whoring turned out to be the only option. It wasn't until I finally got the courage to kill my first river stinking customer that I felt that there must be some sense in all this. No, not sense. There is no sense. Pleasure. Psycho. You know, I hate Warsaw myself. Sometimes I would like to sink this city, but making peace with it is simpler. 
That's it. I'm done talking. Wait. You won't hurt him the same way you were hurt, because you don't hate him. I have seen and felt how carefree you become in his presence, as if he gave you back moments of childhood that you never had. I'm sorry, Piotrush. Now, we'll leave together. No, magician. Piotrush has all the time in the universe. I don't. Stop! Damn. I was extreme. <laughs> what the fuck is this place? Who's this woman? Is she... She's your fisherman. She's the one behind. Fucking hell. I knew I would regret it. Don't tell me the kid is dead too. Well... He's fine. Alive. Then wake him up and let's get out of here. It really stinks of fish. Everything okay? You all right? All right. Yeah. I'm all right. You're lucky the kid's in one piece. How could you be so irresponsible and act alone? There was no time to think. I had to act fast. And I think you followed your pride, Mr. Great. I saved the kid. What the hell do you want from me? <coughs> hmm. I'm sorry for dragging you into this, lad. Nah. Forget about it. The risk comes with the job. But I guess you'll have to conduct your next investigation without me. How did you end up on this table? I found this dive, and as I was going to get you, Auntie Clara showed up. Then, I don't remember. Hmm, I understand. Would you ever think she's the murderess? No. no. This is where <clears throat> the situation failed. I also didn't anticipate that she'd take her life like this. That Densi coming also. What will happen to Cayetana now? The perpetrator is deceased, so now I have to tie all the murders to her corpse. It'll take a while without a testimony. Seeing as you've bungled everything here, I'm tempted to hold your painter until he croaks. Just tell me when you release him. I'll call you. I didn't even think about it, to be fair. I'm sorry, I didn't notify you before. Apologizing won't change the fact that the murder. I wonder if we did that, if she would be alive. I'll be waiting Maybe. for your call regarding Kayatan's case, Commissioner. Sure. Goodbye. I'm not gonna redo it, just care, wondering. Doctor. We did good. Let's go. I'll show you the police station. I don't think it was in the quest line either, so if it was, if it wasn't, and you could actually um, notify me, that would be a nice hidden thing. Nothing. All right. I think we're almost done with everything. Side quest twice. Yeah, we just have that and that, which me, I don't care. I guess I can do the area here and then we'll do Svetlana. Oh. Did I already do the area here? Maybe. I guess now it's time for the main quests. I did a lot of side stuff, so... Uh, I still will do the side quests, but I think maybe the urban things, I don't know how important they are. Uh, I got a lot of experience already, so... I don't know. Mr. Shulsky, 
Come in. What's new? I've got some fresh ideas for you. I see what it is you are getting at. But the collection still seems to have some missing pieces. Yeah. Please, keep looking. How did you get me here then? Old concepts. Unusual combinations. I'm counting on you. Meanwhile, I shall attend to my work. Please, excuse me. You did give me a gift. I won't bother you. Consider, consider the extravagance. Okay. Let me see what that is. Ah, oh, clients. Mm, that's not bad. Color coordinated. Sir, consider the extravagance. That is us. Let's face it. Yeah, I think we see more clients now. I'm not. I don't think they were there before. But anyway, uh, let me see. There is no main quest. So here, leave it here, and next time we'll continue with Svetlana and again. Rasputin can that creepy. Oh, tell me about this person you haven't told me about before. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you watch on YouTube, you know what to do. Have a good day. I'll be back soon with more. Bye bye.